The Caucasus has been a significant area of interest in the study of ancient human populations, particularly during the Upper Paleolithic and Mesolithic periods. Two Mesolithic individuals from this region, known as the Cotias Keed and Satserblia, are known to belong to a group known as the Caucasus Hunter Gatherers. This video is about their genetics. Caucasian hunter gatherers were a distinct population that lived in the Caucasus region during the Mesolithic, around 13,000 to 9,000 years ago. They descended from the ancient North Eurasians of Siberia and the Dzudzwana hunter gatherers of the Caucasus. PCA based ethnicity calculators show that both Cotias and Satserblia cluster with West Asian populations, with Eurogenes K13 Enmadi Oracle modeling Cotias keyed as a mixture of half Southwest Pakistani and half Northwest Caucasian and Satserblia getting a similar model with that calculator's Enmadi Oracle. The Satserblia individual is slightly older than Cotias. Satserblia dates to 13,000 years before present and carries Y lineage J1B and mitochondrial lineage K3. Cotia's individual dates to 9,000 years before present and carries Y lineage J2A and mitochondrial lineage H13C. Satserblia is predicted to have brown eye color, black hair, olive skin tone, curly hair texture, and a Greek-shaped nose. Cotia's keyed, in contrast, is predicted to have dark brown eye color, black hair, light brown skin tone, kinky hair texture, and a Greek-shaped nose. Both Satserblia and Cotias had the West Eurasian light skin genotype in SLC24A5. Both Satserblia and Cotias carried Eurasian depigmentation variants in KITLG gene. Only Satserblia, but not Cotias, carried blue eye blonde hair and pale skin variants in HERC2. Both the Satserblia and Cotias are predicted to exhibit a warrior phenotype with a lower level of dopamine and a higher rate of dopamine reuptake. This is a common phenotype outside of Europe and is most frequently observed in stressful occupations such as fighters or soldiers. Both are predicted to have a lower availability of D2 receptors, and both have low polygenic predisposition for bipolar type 1 and schizophrenia. Both are predisposed to a lower level of 5-HT and serotonin and a higher odds of depression and anxiety. Satserblia carries two variants for lactose persistence out of six total found in the file, whereas Cotia's Kide carries zero variants for lactase persistence out of eight total. It is worth mentioning that Satserblia carries a risk genotype for dwarfism, although this could be the result of a miscall. Both Cotia's and Satserblia are predicted to have a lower odds of autism, which is somewhat atypical for Eurasians. Satserblia individual is predicted to be more empathetic, based on his OXDR genotypes, whereas Cotia's individual is predicted to have an average level of empathy. Both Cotia's and Satserblia had higher odds of cannabis-induced psychosis, and neither carried any risk variants for familiar Mediterranean fever. Both Cotia's and Satserblia had a predisposition to leukemia, but protection from epithelial cancers. Both Cotia's and Satserblia had a predisposition to testicular cancer based on KITLG genotypes, which is typical of West Eurasians. Neither Cotias nor Satserblia carried any variants for micropenis. Both Satserblia and Cotias had a significant predisposition to autoimmune diseases based on HLA genotype, especially Satserblia. In fact, Satserblia carried two HLA, B27 alleles and likely had juvenile rheumatoid arthritis or ankylosing spondylitis. Combining that with the fact it has another risk genotype for ankylosing spondylitis, it is very fair to say that ankylosing spondylitis is a very real concern for Satserblia health-wise. Interestingly, Cotias also carried HLA, B27 alleles, but unlike Satserblia who was homozygous for them, Cotias was heterozygous and likely did not suffer from B27 autoimmune conditions. Satserblia was predisposed to a lower odds of obesity, while Cotias' predisposition to obesity was intermediate or average. Both Cotias and Satserblia had predisposition to rheumatoid arthritis, male pattern hair loss, myopia, type 2 diabetes, kidney stones, hemoglobin E disease, lupus, cataracts, epilepsy, asthma, Brugada syndrome, and irritable bowel syndrome. Interestingly, the highest risk condition was rheumatoid arthritis for both Cotias Keed and Satserblia individuals. Some differences exist between the two individuals as well. 
Satserblia has a predisposition to various cardiovascular issues such as stroke or blood clots, while Cotillas is protected from them. Cotillas is also predicted to exhibit much lower homocysteine levels than Satserblia, which is a big part of the reason in the difference in cardiovascular polygenic score. Satserblia scores lower than average risk for ADHD, but Cotillas risk for ADHD is quite elevated. It is the reverse case for depression. There's some slight differences overall, but they aren't worth talking about. The health predisposition profiles of these two individuals are remarkably similar. They both also have a minor predisposition to age-related macular degeneration and vitiligo. Moving on to biomarkers, Cotillas and Satserblia were both predisposed to a higher level of LDL and a lower level of HDL cholesterol, with Cotillas exhibiting this predisposition to a greater extent. That is a rather negative predisposition to have. Both Cotillas and Satserblia score roughly average level of hemoglobin, sex hormone binding globulin, and blood pressure, and slightly below average red blood cell count. Cotilla scores high for level of vitamin D while Satserblia scores slightly below average for predicted level of vitamin D. Satserblia scores high for glucose level while Cotilla scores slightly below average for this biomarker. Cotilla has a predisposition to a significantly lowered level of iron in the blood while Satserblia's predicted level of iron is just around the average. Cotilla's expected telomere length is significantly longer than Satserblia's, which reflects a longer biological lifespan and endurance of DNA. Both Cotilla's and Satserblia are predicted to be slightly above average in height. Neither Cotilla's nor Satserblia carried uncommon risk variants for any rare conditions tested by trait predictor. Aside from predispositions to various autoimmune disorders, they have no real genetic risks. Regarding the facial morphology SNPS, Cotillas had variants for smaller nose size and thinner eyebrows, but despite this still scored Greek-shaped nose with my tool at 76% likelihood, Satserblia had variants for thicker eyebrows and scored 86% for the odds of a Greek-shaped nose. Regarding the blood type, Cotillas is predicted to belong to group O, while Satserblia is predicted to belong to group A, both of which are rather common blood types among populations of Europe and adjacent areas. Alright, thanks for watching. Now first, make sure you leave a like and comment. And second, make sure you check out the description of this video because in the description you will find the links to buy the raw DNA of Satsurblia and Cotias in 23andMe format. That's right, you will find the links to buy these raw DNA files in 23andMe format so you can run them through GEDmatch. You can run them through my trade predictor, by the way. The link to buy the executable of my trade predictor tool also is in the description of the video it's only 25 dollars on each um soon i am probably going to post it on amazon as well i sell my program which is the program i use to generate these health and trade reports uh, that i use in my videos uh to generate this information for you guys and also there is also a three dollar uh service that i do right now uh, which is you can upload your dna file to me and i run it through trade predictor and i sell you and i send you your result and you can look at some sample reports which are on my website which is also going to be in the description of the video so every every piece of relevant information is going to be in the description my point is read the description look at the information that's in the description and you will benefit from it so that's the point i'm trying to make here thanks for watching make sure you leave a like comment subscribe and share and uh, goodbye